Hello, welcome to my channel, Winged Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading, tuning into the day's energies, <clears throat> seeing what divine messages come through, news you can use. So this is a general reading and tuning into general energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm getting this um, what color from the cards, uh, teal, teal kind of green color. It feels like um, a lot of new growth. Interesting. I'm getting um, a, a new way of a new way of growing, a new way of transmuting energy and of shifting your energy. Wow. All right. Well, let's uh, let's dive in. In the past, it's got this energy of the Five of Cups. Fives are very challenging energies. There's a shift, a change, and change can be difficult. This is around your heart space and emotions. It's regret, grief. absence oh okay there we go um this is feeling left out being left out always feeling that way like a chronic um it's kind of feels like being in um mourning mourning a loss of connections. Maybe there's a morning. It feels deeper than the the usual uh, messages with five of cups. It feels like a a belief, like I I, I feels like you might have this low key or maybe large energy of grief in your space like I've never felt the love and connection that I've wanted to feel like that type of feeling and so it's like missing something that you've never quite been able to have or not have but experience or you've experienced bits and pieces of it and it it doesn't seem lasting. Oh, I'm getting because it's um there's building loving connections on faulty foundations. Not uh it's Oh, because it's conditioned love. And so it doesn't last because it only can last as long as the conditions are correct. As long as the person is in that vibration. I can't, I don't, I'm unable to love you unless you are reflecting back to me loving energy. I... So it's very conditional. I only love you when the conditions are right. And when they aren't right. So I, I love the energy of love. And I love when you're streaming that towards me, but I don't love you. So it's really, oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen it this way. It's really loving the energy of love and those energies, but not really loving the person. 
only loving the person when they are screaming that top shelf or that loving <clears throat> care, whatever that energy is. Not allowing that person to have a bad day because what way I don't like how you're showing up because it's making me feel not love because you're not streaming love at me. I think that we're demanding people show up. It, what I'm reading is someone on one side who just requires everybody to show up how they need them to show up in order to feel love and loving and stable. So their, their world is built on exterior conditions. And so if something goes wonky in the exterior, they, they can't um, hold their own energy. Boy, there's a lot there to unpack. But it is around this conditioned way of loving that's leading to a lot of five of cups. So there's a calling to a new way of being, a new way of seeing things, a new way of loving, a new way of loving yourself, even. Like I do you, are you really hard on yourself? And if you're not feeling good and did or whatever viewpoint of what you think is good then you don't like yourself instead of I love myself even when I'm hurt I love myself when I'm in pain I love myself when I'm in rage I hold space for those uncomfortable emotions and those times when I'm I'm not at my best feels like that needs to happen like I can before you can love others and not need them to show up in some form. I'm sorry, I don't love you when you are not just focused on me and streaming love. If you're having a rough day, that makes me uncomfortable. That's the kind of energies that I'm tuning into. And a realization of waking up uh, to a new way of being. And this learning to love yourself and others unconditionally. Again, loving others does not mean that they have full access to you and your energy. There you can love someone and also recognize that where they are energetically and the energies that they're exploring are not beneficial for you on any level. And so you can create a healthy boundary and still wish them well. So it does not mean that unconditional Unconditional love it does not mean I love always and constantly and never feel a different emotion. Um, yeah, does that make sense? It feels like um, there's been some misunderstandings about what unconditional love is. And even people using... Like, well, you need to be nice to me constantly and love me no matter what the conditions are. Love sometimes can be very direct and fierce. The truth. There's a lot of love in the energy of truth. And yet sometimes truth hurts. So... It feels like a um, blowing up of how we've tried to market unconditional loving. So this brings success, this new way of perceiving self and others. Feels like 
releasing um, really toxic ego patterns, becoming hmm. there's something about taking action, being in masculine energy and being able to take this success to Oh, because taking action, taking action on that unconditional energy, making moves in the flow of divine energy and divine love. There is something here that's saying that there's this victory and success in engaging in the world in this way. And then I'm getting that something is having difficulty moving forward. Ah. Okay, there's the shift in perspective, the shift in energy, a realization of um, unconditional, unconditional loving, of being in flow state. And yet still there's something that's not moving forward. There's a lack of success. There's something, and it's in regards to feeling alone in, yeah, feeling alone, feeling separated, feeling uh, uh, distance, unfulfilled emotionally. Um, yeah, there, there's, there's, it feels like, um, It feels like this is a, a, a solo job, a transformational solo job. It, it has to be, the change comes from within the person, the call to take action from a new place, a new source. Instead of taking action from the ego, it's taking action from a soul, a soul calling, soul resonance, realizing that what you're really wanting is soul fulfillment, soul satisfaction, not going after a little bit of relief or a little bit of ego gratification. But there's something ending in this, this past energy of just a, a lack of, of love feeling maybe alone or un, a lack of stability because um, I feel like you're still working this out in the past. In the current energy, we've got the uh, five of swords in reverse. No more bullying no more manipulation, no more winning at any cost. No more winning at any cost. I feel like this, that's an aspect of the ego that's no longer tolerated in self and others. It looks like you're in current energy looking at some mother wounds. <clears throat> wounds, female wounds. So this could be feminine energy. And some of what I'm seeing here is, is um, actual feminine wounds, as in um, if you embody in this lifetime, a female form. So I am talking about gender. If you have experienced a body 
that is on the um, spectrum towards feminine with feminine features. There's something about um, owning owning your body. So I am talking about gender. Oftentimes when I'm talking about female and male, like masculine and feminine energy, I'm not talking about the form. This actually is talking to those of you who are in um, female expression in this lifetime, female body. <clears throat> There's something very um, embodying your own energy, your own power. That's what it is, your own power. No longer accepting um, others telling you what you can do with your body. It's your body. It's yours. Free, free choice, free will. You get to decide. Yeah, there's for a long time, there's been um, the gender roles and the division between masculine and feminine energies and the fear and control. It's just not working. It's, it's not working. It's becoming more and more evident in the mainstream in the collective worldwide and seeing more and more people um waking up to wait a minute why why are we giving more power to this embodiment versus this it's really becoming clear what's not working Um, <clears throat> no longer accepting how others like going along with what, um, others say you need to, how you need to be and how you need to show up. In there is every card in the top row in present time is in the reverse. And sometimes that's good and sometimes not. I feel like everything's turned upside down in your world or it feels that way. Um, you might be experiencing a very uh like being able to see things. Oh, being able to see what's not working, what's in the reverse, even you, what is not working about beliefs, what, and this does feel difficult, like, oh my gosh, I can see that shadow, I can see my shadow, I can see aspects of others and myself that are undesirable, unwanted, they aren't working. I can see um, how, how uh, beliefs that I was taught in my family, how they've created instability, incredible instability, a lack of abundance, individuals instead of like a loving family and group. It feels like um, quite possibly family dynamics where money is more important than the family, where that is that is the most important thing is finances. And I get security, stability. If you don't have that, if that first chakra is in need and it's lacking, you can't it's nearly impossible to have any long lasting higher chakras that are operating uh, effectively. So there's no soul fulfillment. It's trying to chase ideals. Ooh. 
is a lot coming to light. That's why that green teal, um, it so often times when I see someone in a reading space and their aura is really green, um, I can tell they're super duper green. Everything's green, meaning growth, expansion. And um, even though we all were like, yeah, I want to expand and grow, it's it's difficult. And because these are new, you're incorporating new ideas. You're breaking out of new and breaking into, breaking out of old habits, breaking into and growing into new ways of being that you haven't been before. And so you move differently and things feel differently. It can be very uncomfortable. What's on the other side of this is what I'm curious about. In the center of your reading is the six of pentacles in reverse. A lack of give and take, equal give and take. This is um, a lack of equal give and take. This is one-sided giving. Okay, I've got that energy. What's the message? Okay, so what's coming to light right now, not just in your day-to-day, -day, your personal connections and experiences, but I'm seeing in the collective, there's a, a realization that there's a inequality in give and take and that people have been really sneaky and yeah it feels like it could this could be in regards to workers like employers who expect a lot but don't give a living wage or any kind, I mean, just, it feels like people demanding, using old programs and old ways of being and just uh, entitlement, entitled to, I'm entitled to money. I'm entitled to your hard work. It, it feels like there are people who don't see others as separate human beings, equal. There's a lack of equality or equity. Uh, a lack of care. Uh, yeah, it feels like entitlement. There, And it looks like it's based in a lack of trust. It's not that they value their soul. It's more, it feels like an ego issue and greed and... Yeah, a whole misconception. I mean, this this earth is abundant. This universe is abundant. And so there's a, a hoarding or stockpiling type of energy, stockpiling is better, type of energy um, that a lot of people have. And yeah, that trying to get enough more pieces of the pie Whereas that's not how energy, it works. There's plenty of energy. There's plenty for everybody. You know, and so this is a new concept. It looks like um, there's a new way of doing business. There's a new way of stepping out into the world. And it'll seem a little new and a little awkward, but there's some type of new way to build a business that's coming to light. And it looks like you're coming out of some type of healing. Um, coming out of some type of healing. Ooh, or you can't. It's really, it, right now there's something about, 
it's hard to, it's more difficult to Oh, it's more difficult to think clearly right now. You might be experiencing some brain fro frog or brain fog. And I'm getting that that's actually part of the process. Letting go of old ways of perceiving things. Because those old ways of doing things and thinking about things, um, do not allow for the idea that each of us uh, is a divine expression. That each of us has the possibility, the opportunity, the each of us can decide whether they want to explore and go within to find their answers. The challenge right now is the Eight of Pentacles. Is it hard to work right now? Something that you're mastering, something you're very good at, but it's a challenge right now. It might be you might have a couple things that you're interested in working on, maybe something new that's more creative, fun. I feel like you're you're really drawn right now on something new that you're working on. It's not that you you're giving up on something older, but you're really just really drawn to something that might be more creative. Um, uh, right, any information about that? It looks like it's divinely inspired. You're taking action on something that you're passionate about that has kind of gotten your creative juices going, creative spark. It feels like it lightens up your energy. Like you, you just really, I mean, you're having fun with it. It doesn't have to lead to anything. You're just really curious about it. It feels like you're working with the tools and just feels creative, fun. And it's, it is a divinely, a divine new beginning, a new passion. Ooh, six of pentacles in reverse again, on the same level and on each side of the reading. So I'm really getting this, a lack of, reciprocity anywhere what is this six of pentacles in reverse what is it that we need to know about this this feels very important wow another six okay six 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 all in reverse, so nine, 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 nine. Um, it's about, oh. Boy, this is, this feels like um, childhood trauma work. Uh, really going back and and healing those those childhood wounds where they are still affecting your beliefs and affecting how you're showing up in the world and what you believe you can receive from the world. 
some, there's some beliefs and some wounds that are keeping you out of balance. And since they're pentacles, I'm feeling like it, you might be physically out of balance. It'd be experiencing, um, feeling out of whack physically and, or affecting your work. Something, uh, there's a, it's interesting. So I'm getting two messages of how to, how to work with the energies. If, I mean, you're still here, you're still in this reading. So this is something going on in your experience. There's something about while you are healing these childhood wounds and these traumas, it, it feels like you're, that could be a very heavy type of experience and kind of weigh you down and just make you really exhausted. So there's something about working with something that you're drawn to that's creative, that's fun, that lightens your energy. It's really that lightened creative energy that's um, helping you move through these kind of denser, darker woundedness. It, um, if you're poo-pooing this crafty, creative stuff, or if anybody in your environment is, I'm getting to, uh, this is more important to your soul than you might think to engage in your environment in a, just a fun, easy way. It doesn't have to lead to anything. It doesn't have to be creating a business or it's just fun. It's a, just some lighten, lightening things up. Hmm. I think that I'm going to leave the reading there. That feels really good. Um, this is, it's tough. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you're working through things. You're uh, working through some maybe deeper shadows, but a, a reminder here to keep it light, let it flow, that these things are coming up, this heaviness to be acknowledged, accepted, released. A lot of times in readings, once someone gets like, oh my gosh, I see where this came from, this wound, this hurt. I see how it's affected my life because it created, I created a belief about myself and about my world based on a trauma. And so I've been experiencing my world since then under that belief that limiting belief that's maybe no longer true, but it's slowing, slowing down the gears of um, evolution, your own personal evolution. And so it's time to let those, those beliefs go. It, once people see it, there's not a lot of energetic clearing their body. Ju they're just like, oh, I, once you see it, I can't go back. And their energy shifts. So that's what it feels like you're priming to do is acknowledging and seeing some heavy aspects that have kept you uh, emotionally separated and hurt and unable and been doing, it feels like been doing too much out of balance so all right let me know if this uh was helpful thank you so much for watching thank you for liking and if you haven't for subscribing and i love all your comments sometimes it takes me a couple days to get to them but i read all of them thank you so much for um 
participating in this reading. Thank you. Have a good day.